This conference will now be recorded. All right, good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to the RMC Support Group, March 2024. Um, it's good to see everyone. Hope everyone is doing uh, doing uh, well. Um, <clears throat> definitely looking forward to uh seeing those they can come down to the rmc support the walk uh in a couple weeks so looking forward to that um so yeah we're gonna get this get this ball rolling and um kind of go around and see how everyone's doing and see if anybody have any questions and updates and stuff like that so um we'll start with uh start with julia we have any questions or any updates for us? No, not really. Just still waiting to um, get down there to Houston. My dad and I are coming down on my, I think on like a, either the 20th or the 21st. We're waiting on corporate to get back. Get flights for us or not. But, um, and then I have a, uh, Appointment with Dr. Masao. Um, Dr. Masao on the 22nd, and then of course the walk on the 23rd will be there for. So just looking forward to that. I have a scan, a CT scan on um, Friday. So I'll have that before I come down there. Uh, so we kind of know where we are. Um, with my treatment and see how the new drug is doing or not doing. So that's about it. All right. Well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing you down in Houston. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, we're definitely looking forward to seeing you. Um, hope all is well uh, for your travel travels and stuff. So looking forward to that. Um, Ron, you got uh, anything you want to add to that or anything uh, you want to share with us tonight? Uh, nothing new oh. to report to me. Oh, see, it, Brian? Ryan. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's my fault, Ryan. Go no, I got it. I like, I, you know, I got a little country slang from Alabama, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Ron. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, that's that's really interesting. A little Texas slang from Alabama. Got it. <laughs> um, no, I, I really don't. Um, I, 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 maybe it's my computer, but Andre, your your volume seems awfully low to me. Is it just me, or? I think so. Is it's me? Okay. I think. Can you yeah, guys, can you guys hear me? I can. I can hear you too, but I think something's going on, but maybe Anne can because it keeps coming in and out. I don't know. Yeah, I know when Julia was speaking, it was kind of going going in exactly. and out as well. Yeah. And and the pictures yeah. come and then it starts buffering and then it y'all leave and then it comes back. So it just could be the connection with the platform we're using, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, well, well, the last month it's been, as most of you probably know from experience, been up and down. You know, good days, bad days, trying days, lots of days of frustration. Um, I don't think we, I don't think we had any days where we were angry. Um, but yeah, the frustration was there. And, um, but, but it seems like we can see past all of the things that we were hoping would happen that has not happened, but we anticipate will happen. Um, Julia today was her voice. I can always tell, I don't have to see her on, uh, on a telephone. When, when we speak, I can tell that she's having a good day. The day was relatively good day. Uh, um, me, myself, I, I, I keep trying to remind Julia, you got to eat more and try to keep that weight up and, and not lose too much, too much more weight. 
she's probably getting sick and tired of me saying or asking, well, what did you eat today? Um, but, but that's very important in, in terms of keeping keeping your strength strength going. I'm looking forward to Houston. Um, I've already checked out the weather. You guys have been having some 80 degree days down there. And so that tells me I need to bring a couple pairs of shorts and, and uh, forget my long underwear that we use up here in Michigan. Uh, I won't need that. that that's about it. I look forward to meeting Dr. Masao on the 23rd. And um, I'm just very happy that we've, we've made it made it to this point so far. Yeah. All right, thank you for sharing. Um, Ron, looking forward to seeing y'all as well. Um, uh, hopefully we can, we can, uh, are, are we doing, um, dinner afterwards, Ms. Richie, or are we, what's going on with that? Are we chilling at the park for a little while? Or are we going out to eat somewhere? Out to eat, out to eat, out to eat. Uh, who said that? Who is that? Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> we are, we are going to have some things at the park just to chill a little bit. Um, because the positions will be out there and they'll give you an opportunity to spend a little more time with them and other people. And as you guys call, if you want to go somewhere like we did last year, we can certainly do that. But we did extend the park time until 2 o'clock, but we put on there until 1 or one thirty. So whatever you guys decide you want to do after that, it's okay. Mark is determined to grill these hot dogs out at the park, which I'm totally opposed to, but <laughs> he said he can do it. All right. I, will, I will go buy 200 hot dogs and we'll go from there. And then people are asking, are we going to have chili? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But we'll have everything else to go with the hot dogs. But yeah, it's certainly your call. If you guys want to do that, because it was really nice at Floyd's um, after the walk last year. So whatever you guys want to do, just tell me and uh, we'll make it happen. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Sounds good. I'm going to try me out one of them hot dogs at the park, though. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be interesting. I'll make sure I get all the hot dogs. All right. Um, Aisha, how you doing? How, how's everything going with Gregory there? Uh, ups and downs, like uh, Ron said, uh, but we are still blessed and we are still thankful, even in the trying times. So Gregory did uh, begin a new drug that he began taking. Uh, it's called Velcade. That's the, I guess, the generic name of it. It's a shot that he takes every Sunday and Thursday. Uh, so he's on his second cycle of that. It does have some side effects <laughs> that we are not quite, I can't say quite used to, but we've been here before with the nausea and the not being able to eat and the throwing up. Uh, ironically, we went through that when we first came to Houston uh, over about a year ago. <laughs> so it was, um. It, it was it was different um so but we, we've been we've been dealing with that it's more so getting his uh the nauseousness um under control and we had a pretty rough night uh sunday uh and into monday but um god is good <laughs> we, we we was able to get a, another prescription at like one o'clock in the morning and it wound up kicking in somewhere around 3 30 so he was able to keep a little bit of water down and go to sleep and i just let him sleep uh, but he did wake up on a monday evening <laughs> late afternoon evening finally and um we, he had energy and he wanted to go out so whenever he wants to go out and he wants to feel the sun and get fresh air that's what we do so that's what we did <laughs> and we were out yesterday um and then we came back so um the new treatment, it, it's something, but we're getting used, we're, 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 we're dealing with it. And um, he'll have some scans probably in April, 
they want to make sure that he gets like maybe two to four cycles before they do some scans. So I think they're going to be doing some scans in April. Um, and we'll see about that. Um, but, we're looking um, forward to the walk. Definitely. Last year, we had just arrived in Houston uh, shortly before the walk and Gregory was actually in the hospital and we got discharged and we came to the walk. So he's very determined. He's in a different state now. Uh, he looks different. <laughs> he has gained weight, uh, a lot of weight, but he recently lost weight. Um, but I'm thankful that he had extra pounds that he can spare. So um, it is important to eat, but I definitely understand when he can't. So it's more so important to stay hydrated. And that was just concerning for me because with the nausea, he wasn't able to keep any, any liquid down. But um, he did eat something, some today, and he has been drinking. So like I said, God is good, and I'm thankful for that. And we are looking forward to the walk. We're going to be in a different, he'll be in a different state this, this walk. So we're looking forward to it. Glad that Julia and Ron is going to be making it down. Um, so we get to finally meet in person. Um, I, are y'all coming for a visit? Are y'all coming to stay? Do you know it's just a visit? Okay. All right. Look, baby steps, baby steps. <laughs> but at least y'all are coming. Um, I did have a question for you, Julia. You said that you started a new drug. If you could tell me if you know what drug that is or Ron, I'm just familiar to see. Yeah, <laughs> she's going to get it. <laughs> it's an infusion that I take oh. once a week. Um, okay. And it takes about four hours. Wow. Um, so I'm there all day. But. Uh. It's called Sassy to the Map. Okay. You want me to spell it for you? Yeah, I think you can spell it, yes. But um, I think I, I'm familiar with it. But yeah, please spell it. Okay. S A C I T U Z U M A B. That's the first word. The second word. It's G O V I T E C A N. Okay. All right. Yeah. And it's a brand new one that Dr. Marcel just found. Um, I think I was talking about it on the last call where um, they sent the, the extra testing off or they sent the extra tissue off to have more testing done with um, Boston Gene. And then um, Boston Gene was able to identify the protein or whatever that, you know, from the, I guess the CA125 or whatever. And so th they use this drug in just a couple of other very rare cancers, like a bladder cancer and one other kind of cancer, but very rare ones, kind of like the RMC is rare. So um, they haven't used it with the RMC before, but Dr. Marcel has me, and I think a couple of other people that just started on it, trying it. So, yeah. I think his wife may have helped him find it because it's actually in her research area. I was looking it up. So it's so cool because I know she's helped it's Richie. It's so cool that she's passionate about it too. And um, I love that they said that uh, their daughter is a future RMC researcher. As well. right, exactly. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's good that you got um that you you got a proof of that, Julia. I, actually, it really, really is. I don't think that. I think that my insurance denied that drug. Okay. So. You know, I know things are rough and things continue to be, you know, up and down, but yeah. you have to count your blessings and yeah. everybody's life is going to be different. So, you know, just be thankful for the, the victories, even oh, yeah. when they don't seem as though they are. So just Most keep that in mind. Because I, um, I definitely felt and know that I was sliding backwards for a minute 
and um yeah they came up with this at the last minute you know and um i started it i'm on my second cycle and so this is actually my week off um i thought the week of the next week was my week off you know for the walk but they've kind of um push back my treatment for when I get back to Tuesday instead of the Friday since I'm meeting with Dr. Marcel in Houston. So anyways, we got it to work out. But um, yeah, the first week it um, it hits me pretty hard. And then the second week, or no, the first week is pretty good. I just am real tired and I don't do very much. Um, just a little bit of nausea, probably like on the second or third day going into the fourth and then um but the second week on my first cycle hit me too hard and I couldn't get back up and so um this this week this past week this past Tuesday that we just had was my second round of my second cycle and so they um they um reduced my dose so it wouldn't hit me so hard um to make sure that I could get back up so um yeah and my weight so on my first rounds on both both cycles my weight dropped by like six pounds in one week and then um also uh, my white blood count dropped down my white blood count and my platelets uh both dropped down to like one mm. so um, they put new last on me both times and it pulled it back up. I'm not sure because I don't have labs from this past week, but um, I'm assuming that the new last worked again and pulled them back up. But yeah, it hit me real hard. Um, but I'm very thankful for um, them coming up with this drug. It's spoke, they're calling it a bridge to get me down there to um, Houston, but we're still waiting on insurance and things like that to um, get me down there and I'm checking like every few days on it but we're not there yet I guess so yeah just thankful that we get to come down to meet Dr. Marcel for an initial visit and um, do the walk and meet all you guys in person and kind of get a better idea of you know get our bearings around there so we um, know a little better what we're doing once we get there um, when we come to stay for the trial at least when that starts in the summertime. Okay. If not before. Yeah. Well, you look like you have more energy. But yeah, I think that's that new lasta. Today's day three and that new lasta, it usually boosts me. Today's actually, yeah, like my dad said, my first day that I've been up in a couple weeks. So, well, about a week and a half. So, yeah. yeah. Are you coming traveling through corporate angels, Julia? Say it again. Are you traveling through corporate angels to come down? We're trying to, yes. I, I, I'll be waiting for them. They they give you a notification or a confirmation about a week out. So I'm waiting to hear from them in the next couple of days. <coughs> yeah. But I do have a wheelchair. I do have that to come oh, down. Oh, you get the wheelchair? Uh-huh. Oh. I just got one, I just got one today. Wow. Well, I just got notification I'll be getting one for yeah okay to right, I got the notification today yeah I'll let my person know that we do it okay okay wonderful because you yeah. need one consistently anyway you know just to have oh All yeah definitely yeah yeah if yeah if you don't go through corporate angels because I know I we haven't traveled to them but if you don't and you have to go like commercial just make sure you ask for like a wheelchair assistance from yeah. whatever airline you're dealing with and check your wheelchair before you leave the airport because we recently traveled because we had a death in our family and they damaged the wheelchair. Okay. So um, United was very good when it came to that. Uh, I filed a, a claim immediately, but make sure that you just check it before you leave the airport and yeah. file a claim if anything does get damaged. Okay. Um, just, just so you know. And also if you travel in and you let them know that you need wheelchair assistance from, from when you get to the airport throughout, they work with you a lot. Um, and it makes it just much easier, especially for the person, if Ronnie, you're gonna be traveling with her, it does make it a little bit easier. 
um, to have that wheelchair assistance because they'll at least push her while you can, you know, tend to whatever bags or whatever, but it, it, it helps. So, yeah. But I'm glad to hear that you're feeling better today. And um, that's a good thing. That yeah. that new Lasta, that shot, it definitely helps <laughs> with bringing everything back up. But, you know, when you can eat, eat. And when you can't, that's why you need to pack one of them extra pounds for the yeah. times like this. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful that Gregory had a lot of weight on him because mm -hmm. he literally lost like, I, I would say how many, like nine pounds from like a Thursday to a Sunday. Yeah. Because he was not eating and he was throwing up. So mm -hmm. the extra weight, it helps. So when you can eat, eat, whatever it is. Eat. That's what I do. <laughs> and stay hydrated no matter what, if you can. If you can keep it down, make sure you stay hydrated. Yeah, I struggle with that, but I, I, I work on that. Yeah, we all do. Try and change what you're drinking and, you know, Gregory likes seltzer water with, with juice or, you know, different types of stuff. Sometimes you just need a different flavor, but just yeah. try to stay hydrated as much as you can because it helps. But yeah, that's Aisha, it. That's it. Before I forget, um, yeah. really good news. Um, if Gregory ever needs to get on the medication that Julie is on, because it's such a new drug and it is branded, um, they have a significant uh, patient program that they will actually cover the drug if you have insurance. As long as you can get yeah. um, the insurance to cover the cost of the infusion, meaning the they will cover 100% of the drug itself as long as you get the doctor's covers, the doctor's appointments covered and that sort of thing. Uh, that is very good news. So yeah, definitely. Please send that, that to me. Pocket. Yes, send yeah. that to me because the insurance denied the actual drug itself, but he still is receiving infusion for uh, the panatumumab. And if it would be covered because he's getting the infusion already, then that's fine. We didn't think that the, I think it's called bortezomib, but I call it Velcade because that's what they say, but it's the same drug. We didn't think that they were going to cover that and they actually did. So um, yeah, if you can send that information to me. I would yeah, work because on the it. good news is when you have these really new expensive drugs, the, it's really good because they want people to be on it because they get more safety data and they mm -hmm. can tell their stockholders, hey, we have so many people on this drug, that they're really motivated for more people to get on the drug, but obviously people can't afford it. So that's yeah. why they're like, we're happy to pay your cost to be on it. So yeah, that is good news. So I will send this to you and yes. um, you can keep that in your back pocket. Yeah, no, thank you. I appreciate that because they definitely denied it and I can work on that and, and I will. So, and <laughs> everybody else, if you do get denied Oh my gosh, Richie. Yeah. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Go. We got it. Um, yeah. So if you are also denied because a lot of these brand new, this is a brand new drug, yeah. y'all. It got approved by the FDA last year for yeah. these particular types of cancers. It's only FDA approved for three. I just looked in the clinicaltrials.gov to see what they're trying it on. They're trying it on for a lot of different types of cancers. So mm -hmm. it's very promising, which is good for RMC. It's good for a lot of things. Um, so um, if you if that comes up in your doctor's appointments of, hey, we could try this, but they're not willing to cover it because um, a lot of insurance companies do not want to cover something that is just too new. Try this route. It tends to work. We've seen it work. Try that. So if you're on the recording, um, just look up the brand name. It's Trodelvi. Try it out. I see. Thank you. I'm going to save this. <laughs> and I will be working on that. So I appreciate that immensely. <laughs> Thank what? you, Alexa. Alexa, excuse me for interrupting, but what 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 are you looking at? Because I know the last drug that I was supposed to try um, ultimately got denied, and we didn't have any else until this came up. So, yeah, what are you looking at? Oh, this is the this is the branded version of the drug that you're currently on the injectable. And Gregory, Aisha was talking about how Gregory got denied that drug yeah. that Aisha was trying to get on that for Gregory. 
-hmm. And I was trying to look and see because it's such a brand new drug. Insurance companies typically just automatic denial because there's not enough information. Yeah, so that's what happened with my last one. So what you what did you do? Just go to the brand name web, web? Yes. Oh, and you found that information. About yes, it. typically if you can find the branded website of a brand new drug and try to find the financial assistance um, uh, the, of a very expensive drug, they almost always are very happy to cover either 100% or very close because they want to go back to their stockholders and say, we have X number of people on this drug. And they also, for the FDA, they want to tell the FDA, hey, we've had this many people, it's this safe, um, we've only had this many adverse effects reported. It's a win-win for a lot of people, but unfortunately people don't know. They just hear, hey, you've been denied the end. Yeah, right. Okay. And I think, Julia, with the one, you're talking about the, the oral medication, correct? The Tazbrick? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know, I know, I don't know exactly which route you took. I know that we got denied as well, but yes. then we had to appeal it and we got denied with the appeal also. Yes. And then we went to the secondary insurance and the secondary insurance was able to cover it which was uh, the Medicaid, the state insurance. So they wind up covering it after the initial um, primary insurance denied it. Okay. So um, I, I don't know. I know that oral is different than the infusion, um, but you may want to, I don't know how they tried to, to do the script. I know that here they used um, what they call Oncomed and Oncomed they worked very well with the appeals process and going through through it because they're familiar with it. So the oral medication is completely different than the the intravenous medication. Uh, so um, I don't know. I don't I don't know how they tried to fill it, but I know that um, initially the prescription drug for the Medicaid, which was Optum RX here, they said that it was available, but because it's a specialty drug, it has to go through a specialty pharmacy and Oncomed was the was the pharmacy and they worked. It meant they worked a lot in order to get it approved and they have like certain criteria. They, they, they have a whole team and that's what they do. So see if maybe I don't know, like I said, how it was being filled, but see if maybe Oncomed is can fill the prescription. Um, and then you can work with them because they they did the process down here for us. So it's, you know, just try that. So on Comed and see if, if they can work on getting it approved. Okay. Yeah, try that. But like I said, be thankful that you're on that drug because the other drug, they wanted that for Gregory, but we were denied. So now thank you, Alexa, because I'm going to see how I can do this because my insurance will definitely cover infusions because he's already getting it, but they would not cover the drug. So we're going to. And you can also that. another uh, avenue you can take is you can find um, what pharmaceutical company makes your particular drug. If you find if anytime it's a new drug, it's branded for the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. It may have a generic name, uh, the chemical name, but it's branded. Find the patient advocacy area of that pharmaceutical company and email them because sometimes okay. they can pull some strings for you. Okay. That is another thing you can do that people don't realize that you can do. And trust me, every single pharmaceutical company has a patient advocacy team. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, well, Julia, look at that also. Look, look at that. It's, it's, uh, look at it. Yeah. Please. Um, You'll be working on that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, uh, Brian, uh, you got anything you want to share tonight? Any updates? Any concerns? I'm going to be at the walk in a couple weeks. Um, I will be at the walk. Definitely be at the walk. Um, nothing new to update. Uh, just waiting for my next scans in April. But other than that, everything else is going pretty, pretty good, I guess. So that's okay. great to hear. 
That's good. You look nice and healthy too. Can't wait to see you in person. Yeah, yeah. You, I see you got your your, your beard and stuff growing. The beard, right? Yeah, yeah man. It, it took a minute for the hair to come back, but it's it's come back. <laughs> yeah, he looking a little fat in the face a little bit, you know. He looking looking good. He gave it some weight. This is good. You looking healthy and normal. Now you, Andre, you look like you losing weight. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> hey, I, I you know try to. I got a trip. Look, I got a trip. Me like right there that I, I stay on or whatever. So that's that's it. But I feel okay. good. Okay. <laughs> I feel good. All right. Um, let's see, we got uh, Curtis on the line with us. Curtis, you got anything you want to share with us? Um, no, just here listening in. So. Okay. Okay. Look forward Let's to see seeing you. everybody on a week from this coming Saturday. All right. Looking forward to seeing you as well. Thank you. I always enjoy the uh, the walks or whatever. So who who was 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 it uh who's been the hot dogs on the grill that ain't, that ain't you is it? It's Mark. It's Richie's son. Oh Mark. Okay, got you. Oh, were you asking if it was me? Yeah, I was trying to see who was been the. Who oh was yeah, no. Who was over the who was over the uh, grill? For, for sure, it's not me. <laughs> okay. He's been talking them up. <laughs> he has been. He has been saying that they will be some of the best hot dogs we have ever had, will have. I don't know. We will see. Stay tuned. Stay posted. Um, we have been trying to get the media to come um, for RMC awareness, but Mark believes it is for the hot dogs. It's for his <laughs> grilling skills. But no, I want to assure you it is for trying to raise awareness for RMC. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure they have some real mustard you know the golden exactly. spicy mustard like not exactly. that yellow stuff this you isn't the, Seinfeld the golden, you, know, you know the New, the New York <laughs> hot dog mustard that's yes. what we want what do you mean not the yellow stuff that's the color mustard is <laughs> nah no we need the spicy golden mustard not that bright <laughs> yellow <laughs> mustard we don't mustard. want that <laughs> Well, at least I don't. You, we need to have both, okay? If I'm going to eat a hot dog, it has to taste like a New York hot dog, okay? And I need that. I need that. That mustard. That that spicy mustard. Alexa, is that the T-shirt that you're wearing? Is that the one for this Saturday? Uh, next Saturday for the walk? No. Um. So this one is like the the 2019 General Awareness T-shirt. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so um, the t-shirt will be what I would call like a spearmint with two kidneys, two happy looking kidneys on it. I would say, um, I think it's something like the work continues, the, the movement continues, something like that. Um, last year, you know, we kind of had a jade color. And then the year before that, we had a very bright neon yellow. I mean, you couldn't miss us. <laughs> no. You could just not. Andre's <laughs> laughing because it's like you just couldn't yeah. miss us. Um, I saw where Milton, because he got his shirt, because he's doing Team New Jersey. But it's, I'm trying to find the logo of what we have. So I want to see what it says now. I can go. I can get. I can get mine if you, if you. Oh, want. that that would be fantastic. Yeah, hold on. Hold on that would just be great. Hold on, just a minute. We will stand by. Who who does the designing for the shirts? Um. Next so week, it is. Oh my gosh, it's Angie. Angie does the designs. Okay. Okay. She does the designs each year. I want to get in. I want to get in. I want to get in on one of the designs one of these years. I want to. I think that'd be great. Yeah. And I know next week is the California walk. Mm -hmm. Okay, Curtis is coming. Yep, there you go. 
That is the shirt. Yeah. Two kidneys. Two kidneys. Everybody, see, can you see it? Yep. Yes. I, I don't want you to necessarily see the size. <laughs> <laughs> no, the size is perfect. <laughs> It's perfect because we can it's see it. It took up it. the whole screen. Your whole <laughs> box is done. <laughs> That's because my screen is small. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. And you just moved it real close. We know. Yeah, it's this okay. is it. <laughs> so. Does it back to the kidney bean, but I can't see what it says. Oh, you want to see what it says? It says 11th annual keeping it rain on 5k run walk every step counts and RMC. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got it. Bring it on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alexa, do you got anything else you want to add with us or any questions, concerns, comments? Um, I will. Me and Brian, again, will be at the walk. And I will say real quick, um, my country slang, uh, my my Brian, I know it gets real confusing. Um, I like to call my Brian, um, Brian, sometimes like uh, Brian, because, um, you know, Andre, it kind of sounds, it sounds a little bit like, <laughs> like Brian, but I like to name my Brian. Um, we are happy, just so anyone knows, if you're traveling and you'd like to have dinner the night before, we are so cool with hanging out with anybody. If you would like to um, not like to have a hot dog or something, would like to have lunch, we are so happy to do anything with you. We are so thrilled. So if you need anything from us, the two days of the walk, Brian and I are available. That is my comment for that. All right. And there is Rick. Yes. <laughs> and he will be in Arizona for the walk, but he might be biking for the RMC walk. Rick, will you be biking for the RMC walk in Arizona? Um, I don't know. I haven't given it any thought. How can or I row? Because you can, can do I it virtually. <laughs> can I row? <laughs> I'll be rowing. That'll work. That'll work, Rick. Will that work, Captain? It works. That'll work. That'll work. Oh, look, what, what's this going on behind? What's this going on behind? Look at this man. Look, look what you turn your head again, Captain. Turn your head oh, again. Look at him. What's he got? What you got yeah. there? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Not you better not go down to the base like that. They'll be on you. Woo. I, had the hair come, I had the hair coming down. I had the hair coming down here. I had to fit it to the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, you know, they might not let me on base with with hair like this. You know. No, they won't. No, they won't. <laughs> well, they will. All the barbers will be chasing you around the base. Cut <laughs> <laughs> it off. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I think everybody climbed in, Rick. It's on you. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We yeah. just lost. We just lost Miss Richie. Yeah, yeah, Richie had to leave due to an emergency. emergency. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so I'm. Uh, so I'm. Oh, yeah. I'm moderating this meeting now. I don't think. No. So. No, <laughs> you're not moderating. Everyone has finished sharing. Yep. So do you have something you would? Do you need? Oh, to everybody's now? finished sharing. Do I have yes. something? <laughs> um, well, I do, I suppose. Which is, you know, at Ancan, um, we 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 try to advocate on a on a national basis um for our groups and for our people and one of the areas um that really concerns us greatly is um a lack of mental health support especially for the genito urinary cancers which um includes rmc and um 
So the AUA, um, the AUA has not been very receptive. Now, of course, with RMC, you're dealing a lot more often with the oncologist than you are with the urologist. And by and large, I think the oncologists are better and more sensitive to the issues around mental health than are the urologists. But I just want you to know that we feel that um, all of the all of the specialties, but most of all the urologists have to do a lot better job um, in terms of supporting <clears throat> patients from a mental health standpoint. Now that doesn't mean that we want the urologists to be a shrink, um, but what we want them to do is if they see that there's that there that there's likely to be an issue um, with a serious diagnosis like RMC, that they're going to at least refer you to a support group or to a medical profession. And that, that's what we're trying to push him to do. And so Richie is helping us with, they have a kidney cancer alliance. There's a prostate cancer alliance. We unfortunately don't have real good contacts in the bladder cancer alliance, but we continue to, to bang on them that they've got to do a better job. And we've got... I mean, they literally threw me out. I'm I'm persona non grata with the AUA. Um, ANCAN is not. ANCAN's fine, but I am not, basically because they just don't listen to us. And 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 it bothers it bothers us a lot, it bothers me a lot, and um, and they don't want to acknowledge the truth. But we're do we're doing whatever we can. So um, the reason I bring it up is because of the stuff going on right now. Um, there was a GU ASCO um, where um, your RMC docs were, Dr. Tanir was present there, and there were um, there were some posters regarding mental health that were really disturbing. Um, the rate of suicides in uh, genito urinary cancers is ridiculously high it, it's it's unbelievable if anybody wants that poster or wants to see that poster um i don't know if i've got a i don't know I, if i can create a link to it because it may not be accessible but if you write to alexa or t to me i'm happy to share, share that poster with you but it just it it truly um, it truly disturbed us. I mean, uh, prostate cancer is about I think 2.7 times the average. Um, kid uh, renal and bladder are about five and a half times the national average. It's crazy. And then the AUA says, well, it's not our job, you know, and that makes me crazy. So we we um we do our best and and um, Alexa and myself and of Rich, and Richie of course to try and make them understand that they have to take these mental health issues a heck of a lot more seriously than they than they do. That's what I gotta say, Miss Alexa. Yep. Thank you. Yep. We were in a meeting and we let them know that. It's bad, and you need to listen. And we're going to keep doing that. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. I didn't, I didn't know that. Mental health, regardless, even if it's not suicide, it just helps when it comes to just receiving the, yeah. the drugs that you're taking. It helps overall. So if you're not in a good place mentally or emotionally, that definitely affects you physically. So even if they're not looking at it from the, the suicidal standpoint, just for the the health benefits when it comes to what we... You're right, Aisha, you're so right. I mean, 
the fact that if we can de-stress, it's probably going to help us deal with inflammation and and, and a lot of the the uh, aggravate the, the 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 spread of the cancer. But you know, we can't even get them to recognize that anxiety and depression are significant. Um, I don't know if you can hear me, but it said poor connection, so y'all all cut off. I don't know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, you froze for a little bit. Yeah, everything just froze back. for me. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but okay. it's just important. The mental health, emotional health is important when it comes to treatment period, and they should yeah. understand and recognize that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, question, the, um, I forgot the name of it, but the National Mental Health um, Collaboration, mm -hmm. um, do, do they seem to want to in, embrace our cause? You know, we, we haven't done a lot. Um, we haven't tried to reach out to the, I think it's called, isn't, isn't it NAMH? Is it NAMH, Alexa, National Association of Mental yeah, Health? Yeah, I think they call it uh, NASHA or something like that. Yeah. But I don't know what it stands um, for. You know, we, we haven't. NAMI, I think. Yes. NAMI. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we haven't really reached out to them, um, I guess, because what we see our role here as is obviously we, we do our best to support and, you know, we have our mental health, men's mental health group. There's some surprise in store for me, but there may be a women's mental health group before too long there that is. you ladies can, can, can join. But, um, and we have our art class, which is fantastic, which is also a mental health offering. We have our solo art skill, um, and, and we, we want to do more. We're working on some sort of a music mental health program, and we really want to do more and keep expanding. But we feel that, that where we can be most effective on an advocacy level is to reach out to our treating doctors and to get our treating doctors, get this onto the radar of our treating doctors so they can navigate you to the right places. Because it's not really up to us. We can support you as best as we can. So, you know, I don't know. We'll have to think about whether it's worth reaching out to NAMI or what NAMI could even do for us, uh, Alexa. What do you think? I think maybe them having them help us co-sign might could help. Oh yeah, if we could, yeah. If we could get some, if they could co-sign, that would be great. Having their name might could be really helpful. We should talk to, let's talk to Jim Schrait. Why don't yep. you, Follow up with Jim Schrate on that yep. when we've got something to send to them. Thank you, Ron. That's a very good idea. It is, Ron. And that's you know, why one of the we things... like to take these ideas to the group. Yeah. I mean, one of the things we, we're planning on doing, Ron, before too long is um, we're going to send that uh, suicide poster to the AUA. We're going to take it to the we, we, we will take it to the prostate cancer group. Um, Richie will take it to the kidney cancer group. And maybe if we took something to them and we could we could get an AMI to co-sign, that would make it even more powerful. Yeah. And we'll try. We'll keep anybody's on got, Anybody's got any connections, let us know. I was just about to say, I need to look. I believe that I may have connections here in Indianapolis to NAMI. Whoa. Oh, Julia, that would be terrific. Let Alexa know because we don't have any entries right now that I no, know. No, we of. don't. Okay. I, I'll do, I can do that. Although check with Dr. John and, and Dr. Jack, they, they might do. I, I doubt it, but they might. They they might do. Okay. Well, this is exciting. We have another avenue. Yeah. yeah. And we'll keep, 
we'll keep pushing it. We, we, you know, we will. So, so what's been going on in the world of RMC? I see Brian's there. Hello, <laughs> Brian. How you doing, man? Feeling good? Uh, yeah, Rick, I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. That's what we love. <clears throat> All right, it's going, <laughs> going pretty good, Rick. We got some new uh, cancer drugs, you know, that 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 uh, some of us are trying out, and um, so yeah, we're gonna see how they how they work, how they turn out. And Rick, one of I, them is even in a trial for prostate cancer. I don't know if you've heard of it. What's the drug? Uh, brand name is Trodelvi. Oh, I do know. I, I, I've heard, I have heard of Trodelvi. Yeah, um, I looked on um, the clinicaltrials.gov because they're doing a clinical trial in my particular type of thyroid cancer in Spain for it. I'm very excited um because that that would be great and um they're doing a couple of uh metastatic prostate cancer trials on this but right now they're trying it in arm c2 julia's on it very exciting and it was offered oh, wow. to gregory too so very exciting exciting stuff. is this oh wait a minute i think i know this is the new this is the new trial that um that that's coming out of MD Anderson, right? With do, is no, no, no that one a couple months. That one hasn't started yet. This is a brand new one that um, Dr. Massad just came up with um, with the okay. whole uh, and gene. And so this one just came out of there that we just honestly just started just in the past uh, month and a. Wow, I do know, I do know Tridel, Tridelvi. I was thinking maybe this was the drug that that um, Dr. Masal was going to be launching no. a trial on, and that's why I knew it. But not yet. Yeah, not yet. Um, this one was just recently approved. That this drug was like approved. I think yeah, the end of last new. year. It's it's a new drug that's yeah, FDA very approved. New. Yeah. Very new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what was the what so, was it was the approval for renal? Oh. No. No. What was the approval for? I think pl bladder and and I know bladder, bladder. but I don't bladder know. Bladder and bladder. triple negative Prostate. breast cancer. And bladder and breast, yeah. Right, bladder. That's where yeah, I see it here for eight two, and I've seen it advertised in the magazines and yeah, it was it was approved for bladder. Interesting. Okay. Well, how are you doing? Um, how how are you responding to it in, with the side effects, Julia? Um, the the first week isn't too bad. It just makes me real tired, and then the second week, um, it kind it knocks me down. But with the side effects, it keeps me in bed, and um, yeah. I've had some nausea and some diarrhea, lots of diarrhea. Um, but so I'm on my second cycle now. So this time they gave me a lower dose on my second, on my second round. Um, so it doesn't knock me down as bad. But overall, it hasn't been too bad. Um, I, it's similar, I think, to the, what's that one, Aisha? The, Which one, the Paxitaxel or the, the Pandatumumab? The Pam Pamatumumab. Yes, similar to that one. Okay. Well, when it comes to the nausea, what what now that we're dealing with nausea again with Gregory, what I can say is um they did prescribe. I'm gonna get another one. He was taking the Zofran, and yeah. um before the Zofran has worked. But I would definitely suggest if you know that you become nauseous, take the Zofran prior to the infusion and they might be giving it to you with the pre-meds before you yeah. get it find yeah. out what dosage they're giving to you and you might want to start taking it on a routinely like a routinely basis 
Yeah. If they're saying that you can take it every eight hours, take it like every eight hours until you know that you don't have it anymore, yeah. but definitely take it ahead of time um, yeah. to, to save that away. And also when it comes to the diarrhea, you are able to take anti-diarrheal medicine. That'll also help you too. Yeah. And if you can combat both of those, then you'll be less likely to be dehydrated because once you get dehydrated, that's a whole nother story. So yeah. you want to just try and um, prepare for that as best as you can. How often is your cycle? Are your your treatments once a week for three weeks or once a week for two weeks? Uh, once a week for two weeks, two weeks on, one week off. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, one of one of our gents um, is going through nausea as a result of radionuclide treatments. And um, <clears throat> yeah. so they just gave him Zofran and it's working for him. But what I want to say for Aisha and for Julia and anybody undergoing treatment is um, to make sure you've got a palliative care doc on your team. Yeah. Um, because the palliative care docs, I, I don't like to call them palliative care docs, you know, they need a rebranding. I, I prefer to call them quality of life docs mm -hmm. um, because they're about quality of life. They're not about end of life. Yep. And um, they sometimes have a much bigger palette to paint from than your oncologist. Yeah because they live in that world of treating symptoms. So when it comes to diarrhea or if it, when it comes to nausea or fatigue or whatever it is, they're gonna have more ideas, which is why we always say, make sure you've got a relationship with a palliative care doc and then you can call them up and they can help you one you're not bugging your oncologist all the time and mm -hmm. two they they may be more, more they may they may have more tools in 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 their bag than the than your oncologist does for pain or for nausea or whatever yeah. it is and i know aisha i know memorial sloan kettering has a really good palliative care group Oh, we ain't at Memorial. We at MD Anderson, but okay. Oh, you're at MD. <laughs> yeah, we and, at MD and, Anderson. Okay, so you're down. Oh, okay, so you're down in Houston. We're good. They, yeah, yeah, we're good in Houston. MD Anderson is great when it comes to all of that. So yeah, no, we're they, good. Um, they have some good palliative care docs. They got they a do. Russian lady there. I've heard her speak. So mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the one you got, but they got one lady who's uh, one Russian lady and. Julia, where you are, you're in, in, is it Indianapolis you are? Yeah, yeah. I have palliative care as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, they, they, they should be all over you to help you at this point yeah. in time. Uh -huh. Yeah. They uh, are. They're very yeah. helpful. Yes. They are. But Julia, I wanted to tell you about another, what, does old friend work for Gregory? And then it, it with this new one, it didn't work. So I just wanted to let you know, they did prescribe something that he can take in addition to the Zofran and sort of alternate. So if you ever get to the point where your nausea is too bad and, it, and the Zofran isn't working, uh, first find out if they can increase the dosage because Gregory was on four, then he went to eight um, and he could take even more within a 24 hour period. But um, they just prescribed him, it's called Pro, well, I'll spell it because I, I don't know. It's P R O. Yes, I have that. Oh, you have that. See? And we ain't even had that. So you got it already. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Five milligrams. Okay, so he got, I don't know what he got. We just popped it in. I, no, he had 10. But he weighs a lot more than you, I'm sure. <laughs> so that could be why. Well, but, I, like this one. I like this pro. The, the Zofran, if I take it too much, it'll give me a headache. Okay. So this pro leper, I, I like it because um, unlike um, like um, sometimes they give me lorazepam for yeah, uh, but that just makes me sleep, and the Zofran gives mm -hmm. me a 
but this pro leopard or whatever it is it yeah. is like I, i'm good to go when i take this and it works fast yeah yeah it does it works, okay so, so yeah it's well good. It is. It worked. Sunday was horrible for us, and that that did it. <laughs> so we were able to finally get some sleep at four thirty in the morning. <laughs> so right. it was good. Well, and, and, went- and then there's always the good old ginger chews from uh, yeah. Trader Joe's. <laughs> See, the problem with that is we we he wasn't keeping nothing down, anything, yeah. it, it, no water, no nothing. I I wind up giving him ice chips. And that's because I had children and that's what they do when you're dehydrated. You get some ice chips when you can't tolerate anything. So he had ice chips and now I keep some frozen grapes in the freezer so that he oh, can get something good idea. with some um, sugar and something that's frozen, but it's not. So I had to pull everything out <laughs> when you're dealing with that. Yeah. But yeah. I'm sorry. You... I'm so sorry that, that, that you, that Gregory and Julia are dealing with this, but I guess if the drug works, it's worth it, eh? Yeah, yeah it is. We'll keep us it posted. And Andre, thank you for mentioning these uh, these trials, man. Appreciate it. And I'll look at, I'll take another look at this Tridelvi and see how it works. Yeah, the bladder cancer stats I was looking at are really exciting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm going to look into it to see how it works. I, I don't know how the drug works. I just know that it was it was something that they thought about and then it was denied and then I didn't look into it, but I'm going to look into it to see how it works with the, the, the RMC, how it targets and what it does. But, yeah. but I'm going to reach out to them tomorrow regarding the financial assistance and coverage mm-hmm. so I can see if I can Yeah, I go ahead it. and just call. If there's a number you can call, just go ahead and call. I am. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> there you go, girl. Take my book out and keep my notes. But thank you. <laughs> now, what what date is your, what's the date of your walk, your RMC walk next weekend, is it? The 23rd. 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 Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Right. However, well, if you're in California, Southern California, it is next. It's it's next weekend. Okay. And I think um, I think uh, the Casey Trust in England aren't they doing a walk too? I think that's the week after. Yes, Team Greece is doing a walk. Um, the Ricky Casey Trust is doing a walk in the UK. Um, Columbia is doing a walk and then Anna's walk is going to be this weekend. And then I think the Northern California is going to be doing the walk, but not this weekend, but on the 23rd. Okay. Worldwide. Worldwide. Yes. Worldwide. Worldwide. <laughs> So good. you got updates from everybody. Did Miss Alexa give you an update about what she went through last week or not? No. No, she never <laughs> no, does. I, I she did, never I just, does. She never I, does. But go on, tell them. Tell them. Cause it I just volunteered nice we were... that if anybody needed anything during the walk, that Brian and I would be happy to help. That's all I shared. That's what she okay, shared. well, you can share a little more and tell them what you've been through. Um, my tooth collapsed unexpectedly last week and, um, Your what it happened? happened, my tooth, one of my teeth just Ooh. collapsed oh, and it man. happened over the weekend. And, oh. um, my dentist of all people had to be on vacation. Oh. So I was just walking around and, um, my tooth collapsed and, when he got back from vacation, took x-rays, because, you know, I had a little bit still there, but they told me, hey, don't talk, don't eat anything crazy, that sort of stuff, and took the x-rays, and I saw the image, and I went, you know, the tech talk, oh, no, oh, no, 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 because it was just empty when there. Yeah. And he came in and he's like, Lexa, gonna be real honest with you. Don't look good. And he's like, I can't fix this today. So 
like, I got too many things on schedule. He's like, we'll try to fix it tomorrow. And, um, yeah, so he's like, I don't know if we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'll know when we get in there. But basically, I've been on pretty extreme hormonal therapy for my particular type of cancer for seven years in May. And that can cause bone deterioration. And that's what happened in my case. And so basically, thank God, um, I didn't need a root canal. He made me a new tooth. But what happened was, is I, the little bit of tooth I had left, he tapped it and the rest just, it was that close to just going. But he made me a new tooth. I've been able to eat real food again. And I'm happy about that. I'm feeling pretty good about that. So. I was about to say, you look good. So, you know, it didn't affect you in a negative way because you look fine. <laughs> well, thankfully, you couldn't see. It was one of my back teeth, so you couldn't see it. Okay. I could just pretend okay. like nothing happened. She, and, she did, um, Aisha, she did have that chipmunk look last week. I, I did. <laughs> you were swollen. And I did um, have to show up to a support group. Um, I had a... Um, a hand-free ice pack and they asked if I had a facelift oh, wow. <laughs> and I, said, I looked like in the 80s you know like when they they did you up with the bandages yes. and I wish I'd had my sunglasses where I went no I I just I got off the the private plane from Beverly Hills don't ask any questions <laughs> I'm like no I just had some complicated dental work I you know facelift <laughs> would have been much cooler <laughs> would have rather have experienced that than what I experienced last week. So. Right. Yeah. And, and what we are trying to, to do is to get Alexa on to have some conversations about bone strengtheners, which yes. are in her future. That's, I that's think. where we're at. So, yay. Mm -hmm. Can happen to anyone at any age. Before we yeah. before we conclude, I see Curtis on here, and I've never met Curtis before. I was just oh. wanted, wanted to say hello and see hello, who. Hello, Julia. Uh, yes, I'm Curtis. I'm one of the board members uh, of our, our, our RMC board. So um, I'm just tuning in to uh, see what's going on. So uh, it's meeting you too. I've been listening. Uh, I did get on late because I had some church work, so uh, oh, no. and I'm here. Nice, nice meeting you too. Okay, and um, Mr. Brian, how's the wife? Doing well, Rick. Doing well. You Always tell different. her why I said hello. All right, we'll do. Yeah. You tell well, her we never of, see her. Now, now, yeah, now that you're off treatment, we never see her anymore, right, Andre? She got to pop on. She got to pop on on oh, one one day. That's All right. right. I'll, try, I'll try to get her on here. I'll try to get her on here. Is, she, is, she, is okay. she going to walk? Is she yeah. coming to the walk with you, Brian? Yeah, she'll be there. Okay. Oh. All right, we'll see. Her. Okay, that's good. All right. All right, guys. Well, I'll leave you. I'm going back to my to our MS group. By the way, if any of you have any friends who are care partners for people with either motor or neuro conditions like Parkinson's or MS or muscular dystrophy or um, or other things, injuries. Yeah anything like that we are starting a new group hopefully within the next few weeks for care partners for those conditions um because it's, it's very very tough on them and you know alexa is a peer in that in that um a uh, group of people, that cohort of people. And so she's going to be the lead moderator. And we really feel that there's a need. So if you have friends that are care partners for that type of condition, we are going to be around to support them before too long and just let Alexa know and we'll be sure to keep you. And when we get it launched, we're going to put it in all the reminders so we can spread the word. But 
we 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 just know how important it is and how tough it is for 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 those folk. All right, thanks, thanks, Rick. Thank you. Hey, Gag. See you. See you guys. Good luck with all your walks. Goodbye. All right. With all hearts and minds composed. All right. I think we. Let me see. We losing. We losing people. Yeah, it's like cutting out. I don't know what's going on with the connection. I think people were like, if Rick was saying bye, he took them with him. Yeah, yeah. Rick like took, it's, it's yeah, the Rick accent. Took, uh, Ryan and Julia with It's him. the accent, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to, um, uh, I guess we're going to wrap up for tonight. Uh, good to see everybody's face. Looking forward mm -hmm. to seeing everybody at the walk. Um, so, yeah, as always, uh, keep everybody in, you know, your thoughts and prayers and um, stay positive until we can find Definitely. a cure for this thing. So we that's, will. That's the, that's the goal. Keep pushing. Safe, safe travels to everyone who's traveling. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Good night, everyone.